Hi, this is Gary Anderson from 3dprintingstocks.com. Um, I'm here in Vancouver, British Columbia at the um, headquarters of Tinkering Studios uh, where we'll be talking to three key uh, management folks um, and I think you'll find it very compelling and informative as an investor in 3D printing stocks. Um, first up, we'll talk to Eugene Suyu. He's the co-founder and CEO of Tinkering Studios. Uh, second, we'll talk to Kevin Brandt, who's uh, launching their education initiative called Tinkering U. Tinkering U is doing something that uh, virtually no other company at the consumer grade level is doing, um, and that's addressing STEAM education initiatives nationwide. Um, and then finally, we'll talk to Ben Yan. And this is very interesting because HP, as we all know, is going into 3D printing very soon. And Ben has a long, distinguished career at Hewlett Packard, where he was the director of their global sales network. So now he's here at Tinkering Studios with Tinkering. So first, we've got Eugene Suyu, and um, Eugene, it's great to, for me to be here and to meet you. Um, so tell me about your vision for Tinkering Studios. So Tinkering's vision is to make a system that's extremely integrated and simple to use. We focus on the usability aspect of the machines and the software and making that that process extremely easy to use. Somebody should be able to jump in and look at these hardware and be able to use it. We want to make that hardware portion extremely invisible as well. We want to focus on the process of allowing somebody to come up with the idea and to use these tools, whether that's the hardware or the software, to bring out that creation. The education aspect is something that we feel is extremely important, something that I hold true um, to kind of all the values that we bring in, in here. We're all designers and, and we feel that if we can really uh, leverage and start to educate people on that aspect, then we can start to foster innovation and really start to push and accelerate how uh, people come up with these ideas. Um, the team here, we've assembled an awesome team. We've got Ben Yang, who used to be uh, the, the global uh, distribution manager for HB, Hewlett Packard. And we've got Kevin Brandt, who used to be a director of curriculum at, a Burnaby, uh, at Burnaby School District, which is one of the biggest districts in Vancouver. And so they both bring a, a set of skill sets that we are looking for in both really implementing this and distributing this, um, and also getting the curriculum aspect of it done to the level that we can actually go out and educate people. Next up, we have Kevin Brandt, Director of Tinkering U. So Kevin, tell me about uh, your vision and uh, tell me about Tinkering U. Tinkering U has been developed as a comprehensive training solution for 3D printing and design, integrating it into a full spectrum of curriculum for K-12, post-secondary, and consumers. One of the things that we found very early on, both from our experience and from our customers' experience, was that there was a lack of training in 3D printing, whether that's simply taking it out of the box, troubleshooting, getting started, to higher-end design applications. And what we have set out to do is to take and put online courses through our Tinkering U site available to everybody to learn how to get started with 3D printing. This is part of a larger training ecosystem that will include an object library. It will include higher end lessons on design and different software packages for people to be able to create anything that they want with a 3D printer. We're also creating an ecosystem and a platform, a custom learning management system with our partners at Ready Labs at, from Simon Fraser University which will allow us to create a sharing uh, environment for educators, consumers, people in maker spaces to share their designs with everybody. We're going to vet these designs and vet this program, but what we want to do is to be able to have a system where if you're a chemistry teacher and you have created an excellent lesson where you're developing molecules using the 3D printer, that you're able to upload that and you're able to share that with other chemistry teachers across the world. If you're a designer, you're able to show your designs and share them and share your lesson plans. If you're a consumer who's looking to print things out for your home, that will be available for you as well. What we want to do is to show that the 3D printer is a teaching tool and it's also a learning tool. There's a huge market space for us. We are the first mover in this area. We are training people A to Z on 3D printing. We are taking the early adopters 
and we are taking the later adopters and we're giving them an opportunity to ramp up their learning as quickly and as rapidly as possible. One of the things that we found with the first wave of 3D printers coming into especially public institutions like schools where there may not be a huge amount of training that teachers have in 3D printing that they didn't really know what to do with them. And there was a, there was a, there was some, some places they did but there was a real difficulty in getting up to speed. We believe that with this second wave and with the training program that we've provided everybody who takes these programs will be able to get up to speed on 3D printing and begin using it for what it's actually supposed to be used for which is rendering so that you can design you can work on those applications that people want to do. It's a 90 billion dollar ed tech and 3D printing industry part of a four trillion dollar education industry worldwide and we're we believe that we have a real advantage moving into that space by providing this ecosystem, our learning management system, and the training that we have uh, available and the high quality of courses that are developed by teachers, for teachers, by high level educators at the university level. And finally we have Ben Yan, the sales channel manager, um, who again came from HP. So Ben, tell me about your plans for the sales channel at uh, Tinkering Studio. Tinkering has a very well-oiled channel strategy to go into the marketplace. We will have two categories of partners. One is the best in class. The second one is the certified dealers. We provide all this certification training and make sure that the best in class know the pre-sale support, the post-sale support, and also how to deploy the after-sales extended warranty that we have. We raise the bar for the 3D printing industry by offering a one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, plus we have an extended service warranty. Our dealer network will be offering on-site services for some of the major customers that they don't want to send the printer to their location. That's how we do that. From a regional perspective, we will divide the globe into a number of regions. In Europe, we have something called EMEA, E-M-E-A, that is Europe, Middle East, and Africa. For Asia, we have Asia North, and we also have Asia South, and we'll be able to cover that spectrum. For the Americas, we have North America and also Latin America. So we have the whole world cover. When we talk about all channel strategies, we're not just talking about the brick and mortar and the dealer network. We also want to make sure that we cover the cyberspace, the internet, the blocking, the Facebook, and the social network area as well. We're quite confident that HP is very successful with their channel strategy throughout the years, and I'm very confident that our team would definitely be successful to roll out a very successful and very effective channel strategy. This is Gary Anderson, thanks for watching. And if you're new to 3dprintingstocks.com, uh, it's a free subscription. Um, join over 7,000 subscribers currently. Um, the sign up box is on the upper left of this page right here. And um, you just put your email address in. I'll never share it with anyone, never spam you. Just give you good information about 3D printing stocks. Take care.